Welcome back everybody as all eyes turn toward Orchard Park and the highly anticipated new stadium for the Buffalo Bills. Attention also drifts to the college campus right next door. After a tough 12 months, is Erie Community College ready to follow one Bills drive into a new chapter? Now, it was this time last year when Erie County Executive revealed ECC was facing bankruptcy. The school says it has since cut 210 positions to help fix this problem, but there are also enrollment concerns. Despite a 1% bump to start this year, student numbers are overall down 40% since 2010. Now, I visited ECC this afternoon to find out the school community's outlook on its future. Enrollment is down, money's tight, and there's been a lack of leadership at SUNY Erie Community College. But that's not how Ian Stover sees his school. I started off as a 16-year-old high school dropout, had no direction in life and ECC gave me the second chance to you know, redirect my path. I caught up with Ian and two other student ambassadors while they were loading donations for the city mission. And as they focus on growth in and out of the classroom, the Board of Trustees is working to dig the school out of a hole. Because we're in a period of change, uh, we are facing necessary change. Board Chair Jeffrey Stone tells me the biggest hurdle was money. This time last year, ECC was facing a $9 million deficit. The county executive said ECC might be nearing bankruptcy. Are we still there? No, we're not. I can certainly put that uh, to rest. I think the immediate fiscal crisis that was correctly pointed out by the county executive leadership at the time and the whole community has passed. They made that money back by cutting 210 positions. Now heading down to ECC South Campus, the nearly empty parking lot here in Orchard Park tells a bleak story, leaving many wondering, will South go away? We are going to have to re-examine just about everything that we're doing. Does that mean that South will close? I don't think it does. It means that we are going to have a presence in South and in North and in City. Stone says the bills moving in next door only helps the campus, and they're hoping to get students involved with the new stadium. But those plans need to be executed by a leader. ECC has been without a president since David Balkin was suspended in October of last year. Well, a couple of factors work into it, and uh, what we are uh, needing to do is have a strong, effective leader who's tied in very closely to the community as a whole. Dr. Adiam Sagai is the current officer in charge, but there have been some complaints filed against her, first reported by the Buffalo News. But Stone says he's happy with the work she's doing. I feel terrific about SUNY Erie, and I think the whole community should. We do have big challenges, and we need everyone to buy in. It's so important to me that the school succeeds, uh, not just for the friends and the family that I made there, but for the community itself. It gives, it gives a lot to the community. Yeah, again, leadership is the big thing here, and the first meeting in search for a new president is tomorrow. Current officer in charge, Dr. Adiam Sagai, is in the running for the job, and the goal is to have a new president in for SUNY Erie in place by Labor Day of this year.